Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, March 11th, 2015. I'm astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. What's going on, guys? Check out my apps on Apple and Android so you can stream all my awesome content and get my push notifications. If you want to get the Sun Sign horoscopes and much more, check it out also at leoking.lookstack.com. But before we take a look at all the planets, let's take a look at the Leo King Planet Energy Meter to understand where all the energy is for your Wednesday. And I am hoping and sending you all of my best energy on this Wednesday. Happy Hump Day, and I hope the humps in front of you are amazing. <laughs> and I am putting the energy meter at the extreme position. That's because today, Uranus moves to 15 degrees and Mars moves to 15 at the same time, which squares exactly Pluto at 15 degrees. And so, I'm going to take this deep today. Let's just talk about Pluto Uranus. This is the grand finale of Pluto Uranus happening right now. This won't come around for a long time. This is a rare transit and this is a psychological, very um, radical shift point in our lives. And with Mars antagonizing this, it's forcing extreme change. It's forcing unpredictable events. It's forcing us to make powerful rebirth things in our lives. And in clearing the decks, many ways, also facing fears, facing fears of what to do, facing fears of what direction to take. And today, the moon in Scorpio, finishing in Scorpio, and it's going to make an exact square to Mercury in Aquarius. This is going to trigger events powerfully today. Questions whether or not certain things are right. Questions about understanding the truth about certain aspects. And there's going to be a lot hanging on what actions we do take today and what mental and emotional issues we might have. I think Mercury, Mercury that's been in Aquarius for so long has really been here with a retrograde and everything, been about trying to put a lot of pieces together. And today, with a lot that's been revealed over the last couple days of truth, it's almost like we might not want to hear some of the truth. We thought we had figured out all the pieces, yet we might not have. The moon almost delivers this really harsh and real reality to things. And with Mars on Uranus, which is in a big fear of, yes, it might be excited to take a certain direction, but there might be a deep emotional fear to face. There might be some old pattern or something that we feel is concreted that we can't kill. There might be something that we feel like we can't kill. It's almost like being forced to kill somebody on your own team or being, you know, this is an extreme chart. There's some expert astrology right here. <laughs> and with all this training to Jupiter, we got to realize that us taking the action towards wherever we're going is going to be gifted great. The issue is whether or not we're ready to put an end to certain situations to move there. And with a solar eclipse brewing in Pisces right now, which will be next week, that is the big end point. So realize in order to do what you got to do now, Whatever the universe has given you of truth, no matter how much you thought you had figured it out, there's still more the universe reveals. There's still more to the puzzle that's getting put together. And I think that this is about you not freaking out or, you know, or anything about what that might be or where it might be going. This is about you truly seeing the big picture, understanding that, and, and facing your fears and jumping with the ability to know what the truth is, to know what your higher counsel is telling you and to not freak out. The moon then comes into Sagittarius at the end of today. I mean, especially for me in LA, like at the end. So it'll be in Scorpio for most today for most people. But realize as we go to bed tonight, wherever you're at in the world, that there is a huge shift point coming and it's gonna be about decision points. We do have Saturn about to go retrograde. We do have the moon about to come on Saturn. There is a lot brewing here. And today, whatever came to you, Go with that. Trust in that. We don't have it all figured out just yet, but we do have to start taking some actions. And I think it's the fears and the emotions that we're facing deeper inside that are what are blocking some of the actions to take. Check out my website, leoking.com or leoking.lookstack.com to get access to my daily horoscopes, my sun sign ones, but more importantly, my push notifications. You can also get it on the Apple and Android store. Thanks so much for all of your support, and I will see you tomorrow.